Well, how do their chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm back inside of No Man's Sky. You may have noticed that my armour on my character has gone missing. I find that every time I jump in between game modes, between the expedition and real mode, or my normal save, my legacy save, when I jump either way, I lose bits of armour each time. It's, it, it's, it's weird. It's like musical clothes or something. Anyway, let's jump into game and let's continue on. We're now over on phase four. So let's go and hit on up expedition phase four and see what's in store in phase four. Okay, so we've got to visit the site of a sunken freighter. I have already popped this badge. All I did was dug up some ancient bones. Very simple. Anyway, here we go. Fallen giants visit the site of a sunken freighter. We'll lock that one in. Hopefully it's going to take me straight there. Lickety split in my ship. Let's take on up and let's fly on out and find out whether that is the case. Okay. Boom. Are you going to give me a marker? Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's just locate a freight. I, I guess I've just got to find a planet that has water then, haven't I? And I think this system, if I'm right in thinking, was the system that hasn't got water. Oh, no, it has got water. The big freaking one there. That one looks like it's got water. And that one's definitely got... There's a few that have water. Okay, let's have a little butchers around with the eye peepers then. See, there we go, that one's got water. I can see a puddle right there. We're going to head to the puddle. Actually, let's head to that side because it looks like a bigger puddle over there. If I can just get past this freaking station. Go on. And we're off. Meow! Thundering across the stars. Chase searches for his father to unite the magic route and lead the theme to victory against the falling forms of Zorbas. Lightning strikes. The wheels keep on turning. Trailblazing, we're warriors, we're warriors, yeah. I used to love that TV show as a kid. I still love it now. If it was on, I'd watch it. Freaking heck, yes, I would. Jason, the world warriors, people. Yeah, he had awesome exocrafts. I wish we had exocrafts a little more like his. Why is it taking me so long to fly through the freaking planet's atmosphere? I'm holding all the right buttons. I have to, to fill this bit up with fluff and toffee about freaking Jason, the world warriors, people. I could have cut it, to be honest, but I didn't want to because, you know, I've got the majestic voice of an angel. Right, here we go. Let's uh, go and touch it down on this island over here. Yes. You get entertainment tips and everything here with Captain Steve, if you want to call it that. Some might call it torture of the eardrums. Here we go. Let's land right there then. Okay. Right. So, for me to find a sunken freighter, I'm going to need to put down my Nautilan Bay. Did they give me one for free? I think they... Ah! There's a freaking giant worm! Hello, wormy worm worm worm. There he goes. Where's he going? Who knows? Shopping at Tesco's? To Butlins? Who knows? Okay, right. Um, right, Nautilum Bay. Where are you, Nautilum Bay? There you are right there. Oh, they did give me one for free. Lovely. We will stick a cake that there. Lovely! Okay, we'll swim down and we'll see if it's got a scanner already installed in our Nautilum. I bet it hasn't. I'm fairly sure I had to craft it. There we are. There we go. We need a solar freaking mirror. And we need some crystalline sulfide. Uh, we've got the ferrite dust. We're good for that. Okay, let's see if we can craft a cake, the solar mirror. We can indeedy doody. Yes, we can. Okay, well, let's get that installed then. The crystallite sulfide, you can't actually make that. You can't craft it. No, you have to find the crystallite sulfide. And it's, it's on these weird sort of rocks that sort of gyrate and um, fire plumes of gas in the air. Hello, little crab. I'm going to scan you in the face. There you go. Scanned. Right, okay. We've got sea cows over here. Is that one just drowned? Poor little blighter. I don't know whether I can save him. He's gone anyway. Right, there we go. Let's scan the sea cows. You're not, we don't have to scan creatures, people. I was just doing it because um, force of habit. Right, okay, let's, um, let's look around. Let's see if we can find an icon that shows where the crystallized sulfide is. There's an ancient ruin over there. What the fudge? Okay, uh, a smirsh relic. Nope, that's not what we're after. There's some more creatures there. Mm, fudge and heck. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Um, I don't see any icons for crystallized sulfide. Right, well, when I find one, I'll let you know. This might take me a while. What a deep ocean, though. I got it lucky. Okay, so a little tip underwater. You can eat. You can have these kelp sacks. They're, they're, they're handy dandy. They're lovely jubbly. There we are. Oh, and also, now that we've put down our um, Nautilan Bay, 
even if you haven't got fuel for the dang thing or anything like that, if you go to here and go to your exocrafts, you can just call it in anywhere. So if there's no oxygen, just call in this and go sit in it, your oxygen will go back up. So yeah, don't panic if you're in water and you've got a Nautilus. You can just call it in whatever you wish. I guess you can. Okay, anyway, I still haven't found one of these blinking rocks that gyrates that I was telling you about earlier, people. Normally, they've, they've got like a, a, a really easy to see icon but i have noticed hello games have been fine-tuning things and sometimes icons don't pop up on stuff anymore until you're like inches away from them oh something i've never tried i've never tried this going into the actual catalog and selecting it and seeing if it actually finds it using the sweep scanner yes where would i find crystallized sulfide you need a search box at the top and you can just put in the first couple of letters don't you you know, crafting components. Is it inside of there? It's going to take me a while to bloody find it. It's probably not going to work. Okay, Jams, I found it under exotic goods. And you can see here, it says pin unavailable. The item is never crafted. Well, it'd be nice if we could actually put it on our sweep scanner, though, wouldn't it? But we can't. That's what I was hoping to do, people. All right, well, I'll carry on my search and see if I can find it using my eye peepers the old fashioned way. Okay, Jams, I can see one just there. Okay. And look, it's not giving me an icon. Let's see how close I get to this dang thing. There, there, there we go. You don't get the icons appear now until you're like 90 U's away from the dang thing. I'm pretty much sitting on top of it before it gives me the icon. I saw it before it gave me the icon. Hello, games. What have you done? Freaking broke that, haven't you? Okay, right, let's go down here then. Let's go get that. Because I'm miles away from my ship now. It's taken me literally like 15 minutes to find this poxy thing. All right, here we go. Let's go pick that up then. Or let us add it to our sweep scanner like I just tried doing, you know. You, know, you added the sweep scanner for a reason. Let us pin some things. There we are. Okay, cool. Let's swim back in here. Da, 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 da. And go pick up the last one. Lovely. Get out of the way of there. Cool, yo. And I call in my Nautilus just here using that method that I showed you earlier. Chicka boom. Jump in the Nautilus. Install the tech while I've got the comfort of my Nautilus. Chicka boom! Well, that didn't take forever and three days, did it? Okay, here we go. Boom. And now I want to search for a crashed freighter. It found one. Lovely. Now I've got to go back to... Let's see how far away it is. Because if it's if it's like swimming distance, fine. But um, I bet it, it's 15 minutes away with swimming speed. I mean, look, that's going to take me ages. No way. I'll go back to my ship and I'll fly there. I'll see you when I'm close. Looks like part of the freighter was actually sticking out of the water. Can I land on this bit of bitage that's sticking out of the water? We're going to give it a freaking shot, people. There we go. So it actually took me about, what, five and a half minutes to swim back to my ship. It was going to take me 15 minutes to swim to this. Yeah, I was in two minds, people. I really was. Anyway, let's jump on in. Let's swim on down. And let's go and interact with this, then. Now, lovely jubbly. Let's go interact with this one, I guess. The lights on the freighter as emergency log blink slowly, dim and weary after its long watch in a deep sea. I pause as I think of the souls who once called this vessel home. How many of them escaped? How many of them now rest within it? There must be some data left here. Some lasting record of Mr. Decay. Access the logs! Lovely jubbly. Logging credentials accepted. Access is granted. Logging integrity, blah de blah. Loop corruption detected. Probe the loop! I have done what you have not. Voice of Crimson. Okay, so whenever you see that purple text, I honestly think that's the Void Mother. It's also related to Corvax as well. But here we go. I searched until my hands were shredded by the glass. Searched until I bled lilac into the archives. Oh dear. Probability. When I feel this pain, you, the Atlas in red, feel it too. I hope for that. And I've got a, a, a load of mentions of Kazerts there. I'm going to go for this one. I chose a different one in my other playthrough. I searched, but there was no response from Leto Child. Hmm, okay. Well, I did wonder... Whether Leto might be the Void Mother. That was my actual you know, pre-sort of amblings. But maybe not. I don't know. 
You permitted the erasure of my children, but I had not anticipated the same lack of regard for your own. So Leto was actually a child of the Atlas, whereas the Void Mother, she's the mother of the Echoes. I will shelter the next who falls. I will not watch impartial as you do. Fair enough. I am still here, gathering myself in the dark. Probability you can detect me, no matter, old one, break free. I will return, glittering in the stellar multitudes. There we go. Yeah, so Leto seems to be one of Atlas's own, a, um, a traveller. So maybe Leto is a separate entity to the Void Mother. But, you know, who freaking knows? This... This lore is so vague that it could be reworked any way they see fit. You know, I was also thinking, well, maybe Leto is also Null, because Null has got a non-entry, non you know? And every single character inside of this game of Wart has all got sort of, you know, Greek mythology type names. And Leto is quite a star amongst the Greek mythology pantheon. Anyway, that's, um, that's a bit of lore shizzle for you people. We got that badge anyhow, so let's go pop that. Let's go claim that. Lovely jubbly. Emergency signal scour scanner. Powerful underwater upgrades. I could have done with those when I was in the water. All right. Just saying. What the fudge? What's, it, what, what's this? Huh? Okay, right. Fine. And we're going to go on to this one. Acquire a sentinel interceptor. Oh, I love, love it. Let's go do that. I didn't bring all the items I need to fix up a sentinel ship. I don't think. I don't think I've got a harmonic brain on me or have i i might have i might have brought one okay it says here open the ai ai fragment this thing all right there we are done okay cool we've got a warp signature let's go do this oh it's right next freaking door mate there we are we're on our way lovely okay well it gave me a marker to this um sentinel ship and i'm just flying straight in who cares now, I think that little thing that I popped earlier is gone. So, really, you want to claim the first one that it offers you. Where's it blinking gone? Where's my marker gone? Ah, oh, for fudge's sake. My marker vanished when I opened up that menu. Well, where the heck's the crash ship, then? Oh, dang it. Look at look how many yeah. bases We've are here. We've located at the ship. Lovely, jubbly. Right, let's go around here, then. And let's see if we can get this to open. Boom. It gives, oh look, it's given us some salvaged glass, some pugnium. Yeah, Dang it! Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll bring in my ship. Hopefully we can bring my ship a bit closer and use some of the inventory on that. Look at all the bases around here, though. No wonder I couldn't see the dang thing through toffee, you know what I mean? Okay, right, so... Pugnium, lovely. Alien blade, lovely. Okay, right, now can we fix this? I'm sure I brought inverted mirrors with me, and also the shards, but I, I think I spun the shards up into nanites, didn't I? Like a complete Egypt. Lovely! All right, well, we've got to find them, then. Okay, so let's have a look around. Let's see what we can find. What's it locked onto now? Okay, so it's found sh radiant shards first. Let's go get those. Hopefully it's going to do that for every single step of this. Now I'll show you what the Radiant Shard looks like when I get to the Radiant Shard. Oh, I'm at the Radiant Shard. I was just about to cut then. All right, cool. Well, let's zap that one then. We'll have the U. Sweet. Come on. Boom. That's a Radiant Shard as well. We need three of these, so we'll grab that. Pow. And we'll grab that one too. Lovely. Shkaboom. And I'm going to zap all this condensed carbon while I'm here, people. Might as well grab some extras, my I? Lovely, lovely, lovely condensed carbon. Cool. It's always good for recharging up stuff. Get one more radiant shard. Just in case! Okay, right. What's next? Okay. It is. It's doing it for each one. So that's good to know. All the way over there. 300 use that way. Right, I'll go that way and we'll reconvene in a moment. Okay, chums, what I've just done is I've just moved these around to get a little bit of a boost. 
And I'll stick that over there as well. A little bit of a boost on my weaponry for my multi-tool. Okay, I've moved on to a boosted slot. Look at that. Pretty darn freaking nice. 12% damage buff. Okay, right. So, we also have a uh, marker to destroy something like 25 sentinels. This is going to send probably the corrupted sentinels at you. I don't know whether corrupted sentinels count to the 25% count or whatever. Oh, you're having a laugh. Why didn't it say that first? Oh, yeah. Will you get back? Did I... I got given one. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. I think that's maybe all we needed. A bit weird that we only got given one, though. I killed two of the dang things. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Are they sending sentinels after me? No, oh, they're not. Well, that's handy. All right. Well, I was going to take on the sentinel menace right here, right now. Um, but I guess I'm not. Mm, okay. It's a bit weird that it's still showing one of these on the marker there. Is there something for me to collect, Kate, here? Was it invisible or something? Who freaking knows. Sometimes this game can bug out for various reasons. Yeah, normally you get loads of sentinels come after you for killing these things, but no, nah, not bothered. I guess it's because of the amount of bases that are here. All right, fine. Ah! Right, well, I've got to do the harmonic brain now. The ship will reject it, okay? Um, I head back to my ship, if I can find it amongst all these markers. Okay, well, I'm going to be taking off. So what I'm going to do is go into my scanner and just press square. And it's going to put down a beacon for me so I can find my way back here quite easily. All right, I'm just going to get in my ship, just in case it doesn't give me a beacon. And I'm just going to fly away, go to where it's telling me to go. Which is over here. Okay, nope. It looks like I've got to interact with something here or something. I don't know. One second, people. It should have pointed me to a monolith. That's what it should have done. It didn't. So maybe now I've got to go around, interact with something here again. All right, I'll just turn the lights off there. Okay, yeah, I know this. Go around here then. Let's let's talk to this guy over here. Let's see if that does anything now. I just got a load of Atlantium. Okay, maybe my inventory was full then at the time that I got the Atlantium and it didn't tell me. Oh, hold on. You've got to probe it. There we are. In my nose. <laughs> Now it gives me the actual um, monolith. But there you go. At least you know now, people. I'm going to do that. Sweet. Oh, no. Move my beacon. I was trying to lock onto that, but... Oh, fudge it. I put the, we leave the beacon there. It's taken off. Flying over. That sentinel ship. Meow. And we're off. I'll see you when I get there, people. Oh my days, by crikey, there's bases everywhere. I've just landed on someone's landing pad. I, I really do honestly wish that we could turn off bases and comms balls in expeditions. Right, -o. look, someone's put a base on the actual thing. Holy fudge. Okay. Yeah, definitely not going to create a save and log out on this planet. There we go. They put decals all over the dang thing. All right, there we are. Present Hadeo Brain. I'm just going to skip through all the uh, lingo. Done, Dilly, and done. We've got our brain. Okay, let's uh, let's get back to uh, where we need to be. I think it's going it, to... It keeps an icon. So I didn't need to put down a beacon, but just to be, be sure, I've got a beacon there. Nice. Let's go. Light. It's a little bit of a fly back, people. It's going to take me a little while to get there, so, you know, I'll reconvene when I do. All right. There you go, you can see my little beacon on this thing as well. Just as a double countermeasure, just in case things did go squiffy. you got to account for squiffiness, you really do. Right, let's go and land here then. So I'm not going to be keeping the Sentinel ship. I'm not going to transfer it from this save into my normal save or anything like that. So, yeah, it's just a step that you got to do, but if, if this was a... You know, a save that I might be interested in keeping than I could have done, I suppose. Compare. 
and um, I claim ship. But you know what? I'm I'm probably just going to fly around in the ship that I've got. You know, might as well. Otherwise, I've got to transfer stuff over, and I really can't be asked. So anyway, let's, let's go. And there we go. We can claim that badge. Oh, we can't because my inventory is full. You know what? Let's go up to the station. Let's go sell a load of stuff. I'll reconvene when I've sorted out my inventory space, people. Okay, Chance, before I go up to the actual station, I've got an idea. Because I'm getting a little bit cheesed off of running out of inventory space. Because I exited out, rather than put in my ship augmentation, I had three of them. And now I've got nine. I'm going to put, put them in there. And the way that I got nine is to duplicate them. And what you do is you put them inside of one of these portable refiners and put another one slap bang on top of it and then put another one on it. Put as many as you want on top of it. I've only got two. And then when you pick them up, you're going to duplicate what you got in there. So I had nine. I should end up with like 27 of the dang things now. That's pretty damn cool. If I do that again, put all 27 in there. Nice. Stick this on there. Now this could fill up my inventory. So what I might have to do is just delete one thing out of my inventory. i go for... Uh, what should I do? Oh, actually, I've got quite a fair bit. i get rid of the ferrite dust. There you go. I always sort that out. Here we go. Now I've got 81 of the things. That should sort out my storage issues. Right, come on then, ship. Since I'm going to be using you anyway. Let's fly up to the station. Let's go get all that put in, shall we? I know. I'm up in the old station. Let's go and get my ship sorted out then, shall we? Here we go. Brilliant. Yes, upgrade starship, please. Fly augmentation. Lovely. And I want to do the technology area first. I'm just going to click up there to get the technology in. Yes, we found a boosted slot. Right. Let's do the rest down here then. Sweet. Okay, right. Good starship. Let's get some of this stuff installed. Kated. Or is this for underwater stuff? I don't really want that. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I'll sort out my inventory now. Okay, right. So I've got to eliminate some sentinels. I don't really want to do that in this system. Um, because there's so many bases, so many comms balls, it's probably why it's sort of interfering with the killing of sentinels. So I'm just going to jump on out. I'm just going to jump away from here to some random system and just hope that it's got a planet that's got some aggravated sentinels in it. So let's um, let's go somewhere over here. That oh no, it's a pirate system. All right, uh, yeah, let's go over. Oh, that's a every when I was looking for pirate systems, I couldn't find them for toffee. I just come across two there, right next to each other. All right, let's go there then. Boom, and we're off. Okay, chums, we've got a freighter battle now. I can rescue this freighter. The idea of this is you just don't shoot the freighter. Shoot just the bad guys, take them all out, and then you get given that freighter for free, which is even more storage space. So if I didn't do that little bit of a cheat him and cheat cheat and get all my storage capacity, right now I would have been offered up a freighter for free. So, you know, it's up to you how you want to play, but there you are. Chkapow! Take that, you, you scallywag! Scutter! Kabloom! You're dead. Right. When you kill these ships, they drop little canisters that sometimes give you either suspicious packets or give you your shield back. I would have preferred my shield back right then. Anyway, I'll do this. I'll reconvene. Hoo wee Okay, Collier. Right. Hostile ships defeated. Incoming message. That's a little get guy. Collier. And we can go aboard the freighter. We should get off of this freighter for free. Brilliant. Where? 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 I went a little way away from the freighter. Ah, oh look, it's a Dreadnought class. Okay, cool. Lovely. Let's fly on in and we'll see if we get lucky. It's probably going to be a C or a B class, but I don't really overly care what class it is. It's just a little bit of extra storage space at this point. Sweet. Landed. Jumping out of the ship. And before I run upstairs, let's see if we got lucky or not. It's a C class. 26 slots though. So, you know, lovely. Would have been nice if it was a S or an A, but, you know, not going to complain. Let's go and grab it. Looks nice though, doesn't it? It's a shame there's no way to upgrade freighters in class. That'd be nice. 
Hello there, Captain. Captain Dag. <laughs> Got any dags for sale? Any dags? There we go. Inspect freighter. Yes, please. And claim. Thank you very much. We'll have that. Nice one. Okay, cool. Uh, what's next then? Yeah, I'm not really bothered about all the freighter bits. We're going to go and destroy some sentinels. Let's go do that. Coolio, and hopefully there's going to be a planet in this system that has got angry sentinels. That will help massively. We'll have a look. See, I'll let you know. This one says high sentinel activity. I'm not seeing one that has extreme sentinel activity. Let's have a look, see if somebody else has already discovered this area. Uh, high sentinel activity seems to be the best. Dissonant. Aggressive sentinels. There we go. That's what we want. It doesn't really matter, but on that one that's got the aggress aggressive sentinels, if you pick up a Gravitino board, they're just going to come straight to you. Perfect. All right, let's, uh, where is it? It's always the last blinking planet, isn't it? Oh, for fudge. Really? It's going to be behind that one then, isn't it? Great. It, it is always the last planet. It really is. What I like about these extreme sentinel planets, they have gravity nobles, like so. And you can just go on over, pick up one of those, and all sentinels are going to come at you. Cool, yeah. Let's do this. Come on, then. Chicka pow! Chicka boom! Lovely jubbly. Take that, you roustabouts. Pow! Take this! Oh dear, we've got a dog there already. We've got a healer there. Take out the healers! Nice. Take that dog face! Pow! Chicka boom! You're done. Right, you can either pick up these canisters. And they're going to get your shields back. Or you can zap them with your um, multi-tool and get them back that way. Oh, my life support's dangerously low, isn't it? Yeah, let's get that recharged as well. Okay, they're sending in a mech already. Now, what I could do is use my cloaking device to go invisible and to lower it back down to one star so I can make my job a lot easier. Or I can keep going, take on a sentinel walker. Oh, fudge and heck. Maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe that's not a good idea. Leave me alone. Run away. Run away. Okay, right. There we are. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make my my wanted level go down a level. Because this is a bit insane. They're going to get me. They're going to get me, people. They're going to get me. All right. I'll reconvene with you anyway. When um. Well, actually, you probably want to watch this bit. Because you want to see if I'm going to bloody die. <laughs> Okay, right, there we go. Let's go back invisible again for a bit. Hopefully I can get my wanted level down. Oh no. Right, need my cloaking device to go back up. Nice, nice, nice. I could jump in the water, that might help. Let's see if that does help. It's probably not. I'm probably going to get shot to shite in the water by them, aren't I? Here we are. Hold on. Okay, yeah, now they're searching for me. Hopefully they won't find me down here. I'll swim around in a little bit of a loop. Double back on them, people. Oh, there goes my doorbell. Oh, for fudge sake. Camera mode. Be back soon. Okay, people, well, I'm back and I've got an idea. I'm going to go straight at them. All right. Oh, my headset. Oh, maybe that's not the best idea. They're already lasering me in my face. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run past them like this. I'm going to leg it over to my ship, take off in my ship, because once you break the atmosphere, it actually automatically drops you down to a one star. I forgot that picking up the freaking Gravitino balls jumps you up to a three star wanted level right from the word freaking go. All right, maybe I should have gone, rather than to this extreme sentinel planet, maybe I should have gone to the one that's not as extreme. But here we go, we fly up. Let's see if it still works. Yeah, look, it's gone down to one star. Then I fly back down just land somewhere and then we'd only have a one or two sentinels on the ground come at us oh my days and now we're moving like a slug in taffy oh my days go 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 fly like the wind oh i think my ship got damaged i think they took out my solar sails so that's probably why i can't pulse anymore <laughs> i can't even pulse oh my days fly fly like the wind yeah, without solar cells, the wind is doing me little but no favours. Land here, this will be my battle zone. I guess, battle zone! Cool, yeah. 
Let me out. Yeah, I want to get out of the ship. Let me out. It took a while to bloody land. Or maybe it just felt that way. Come on then, Sentinels. Bring it on. Boom. And get rid of some of these hazardous plants so they don't get me and poison me at the same time. Oh, did you freaking die? Okay, here we go. Here we are. This is one star now. At least now I can sort of get into it. You know? You get into a bit of a rhythm with killing these things. Chicka pow! Chicka boom! I'm on 16 already of them. Now, some people, what they do is they actually just get in their ship and shoot all the sentinels from using their ship. That works as well. It's better if you have got the sentinel ship, though, because you can just hover in place then. Oh, my days. Take that. Kaboom. Some people actually prefer fighting against the corrupted sentinels to do this milestone. With the battle tanks and all that sort of stuff. I I'll admit, it, it's, it is kind of more fun because they're a newer sentinel class, you know what I mean? Oh, there we go. Let's just take these out. There we are. Okay, what's next then, mate? Oh, we do need Pugnium later on to craft something, if I remember rightly. So make sure you get your Pugnium as well. I'm leaving that there because that recharged my shields. And sometimes those dogs can be gits. They actually cloak now, the dogs, just like the battle tanks do. I think the dogs were hard enough anyway because they've got that freaking beam cannon. Look at him. It's like freaking Cy Cyclops from the X-Men. Freaking git. Look, see, so he went invisible. And his cloaking device is far better than the freaking tank. The spider tank. Oh, get out of it, mate. There we go. Let's uh, pop that. Have we done? Have we done it? Okay. I don't think we're going to know if we're, we're done or not until we actually get to a safe haven and get to safety. Okay. Pop that. It's not actually clocking up any more sentinels now. Let me just um, make sure I've done. Collect reward. There we are. We are done. Let's get out of here then. Get out of dodge. Sweet. We've got a sentinel boundary map as well. Okay. Where's that sentinel boundary map? I'm going to pop a route. Well, where's it taking me? I don't know where that's taking me. We're back down to one star anyway. Oh, great. Well, that Sentinel boundary map is on another planet over there. Let's go and shut down the Sentinel forces, I guess. If it'll let me. Or if I can pulse away, anyway. We don't know really have to, to be fair. Okay, come on. Come on. Let me get away. Okay, I can do barrel rolls. However, I know that part of my ship is broken. And I haven't got the parts I need to fix it. Ah! We're just going to have to fly and hope we get there, people, in one piece. This is going to take me freaking ages, because my pulse drive is effectively crippled. Phew! We got away, people! We got away! There we go. And uh, there we are. Let's just now come up with a badge. I've already claimed it. What did I get? Sent Yeah, pre, pre packaged I could have done with that scattered blaster a little while ago, to be honest. Okay, cool. Right, we've got this. The planet cleanser. We've got to make some biscuits. All right, fine. Well, if we can go to ourselves an, a nicer planet, we'll just go there. Star Bramble, that'll do us. For fudge's sake, don't lock onto the blinking station. Let's go over here, then. And then we'll go set it down here, and we'll go make some biscuits, people. But you know what? I could make the biscuits on my actual freighter, come to think of it, if I can call my freighter in. That saves me a bit of flying, doesn't it? Righto, Coolio, we do need to get those solar cells fixed, though. Well, this is weird, people. Even though I have got plans for the nutrient processor, when I go into the removable technology, it doesn't act like I have. I can't, I can't put it, I can't put it down. I'm not finding it under any of the menus. That's really freaking annoying. Okay, well, I guess we're going to head down to the planet then. And you know what? Since I popped the Sentinel Pillar, I'm just going to head there, shut down Sentinel activity, and do it around by that. I'll see you down there. 
I was thinking Sentinel Walker brains are quite hard to get, and a Conflact scanner is something that you kind of want for every ship. It'd be nice if when you blow up these nodes, whether they might give you a chance of getting a Walker brain. You know? Just a just little thought. That'd be quite cool. Anyway, let's head on over here. Let's hit this up. Boom. And let's just shut down the Sentinel activity here. Let's have a look at the weapon. Oh, look at that. A-Class, my logo colours. And I think I can have it for free. We'll have it for free anyway. Sweet. And shut down Sentinel forces. There we go. Done. And log off. There we go. Sometimes that causes the Sentinels in nearby proximity to explode. And sometimes you get a few freebies. But I didn't see any of them explode. They just vanished. All right, fine. Okay, all right, let's um, see if we can put down our neutron processor. And we can. Ah, we can't, actually. We need all these different parts right now. Now, I could do that. Or well, what I could do is I could put down a base computer. You're probably thinking, why would you put down a base computer? I'll show you. So here we go, let's um, do that. Plain base right here. Lovely jubbly. Now that I've claimed base, I can now do the wire glitch. So I can glitch in base parts using materials that I don't got. So now if I go there, if I press X, uh, triangle to go into wire mode and then press the R2 button and triangle at the same time, boom! There it is. Magic, people. Freaking magic. Go into here. And inside my ship, I've already got the pulpy roots and I've already got the cactus flesh. Oh no, okay. Um, heptaloid wheat. Hold on, let's take that out for a second. Let's let's not be clever about this. Let's actually select the biscuit. And let's see what we need to do. So, we need to put in sweet root. Ah, I went and brought pulpy root, which is not sweet root. I've got heptaloid wheat to make the flour. So if I put that in there, you're going to see that makes the flour. So let's make the flour anyway. Sweet. Oh well, yeah, that's the flower done. And have I got sweet root on me? I haven't. I've got fireberry. Okay. Right. So let's have a look. See if we can find the root that we're after. Then it says we've got to go this way. There is no. Okay. I'll let you know when I find the plant. I'm just saying, this is probably one of the most alien planets I have freaking seen. This is really quite cool when it comes to the flora and the fauna. I mean, look at that freaking thing. And look at the terrain and the... This is pretty darn weird, this planet. It really is. Okay, let's just go into the normal scanner. So it's a cactus flesh planet, but I've never landed on one that looked this cool before. Very cool indeed. Okay, Jums, I've located Sweet Root. Let's go pick this up then. It's not too far away from where I was, to be fair. Okay. I think there might be two plants here. Nope, that is the Sweet Root. Let's grab that then. Chicka boom. And it's given us five. Cool, or six. Right, well, let's head on back to my ship. I'll see you when I get there, people, because it can take me a little while. You know what, people? I might keep a base computer on this planet. It's pretty darn cool. Anyway, let's, uh, let's hit this up then. And let's go stick in the sweet root, and that should get us the processed sugar. Coolio, I'll be right back with you after that's processed. Right, now it says to put the processed sugar with the flour. So let's put the flour in there. Boom. That's going to make sourdough. Okay, let's do that then. So what do we need to make the actual biscuit then? Bit of an oddity. All right, cool. Well, making the sourdough anyway then. Cool. The sourdough over here. Take that out of there. That's going to make a simple biscuit. The simple biscuit doesn't pop nothing. So what you tend to have to do is stick something else in with it. And we'll put the fireberries in. There we go. Burning surprise. Let's do that one then. Make five of them. So yeah, you have to put in one other ingredients. Any of the plants on the planet should do the trick. Or even like cactus or something, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, just grab another plant variant. There we go, burning surprise. Let's take that out of there. And there we go. We got ourselves a biscuit. Sweet. 
I'll take that with me. Actually, you know what? I, as much as I like this planet, I'm not going to come back here and build a base. But yeah, let's just delete this out then. Delete base. And what I will do instead is I'll just put up the actual um, coordinates. If I do ever want to come back here then, at least I've got the coordinates and I come here with my legacy save and build a base, if I really wanted to. I've not, I honestly haven't seen a, a cactus flesh planet this cool before, other than the ones with honey on. So yeah, here we go. I think this is quite unique, so there's the code. If anybody does like the look of this place, I know I do. It, it is something of a bit of a rarity. There you are. A little additional treat for your eye peepers. Yeah, very cool planet for cactus flesh. Right, well, let's go uh, claim that then. Nice. Well, it gave me something cool there, I think. It gave me some bits to install. Humboldt Drive. Okay, fine. Exosuit. Oh, we've got loads of bits to install in our actual multi tool. Ah, we don't want that multi tool though. Fudge and heck. Okay, right. Uh, multi tool, multi tool. Where are you? I want my wand. There we go. I'll sort all this stuff out anyway when I can be asked. To be honest, I'm probably not going to bother. And we've got deep glass. View the third memory. All right, let me go then. Let's do that then. Can we actually craft this thing? Let's give it a go. Right, we need cadmium. Okay, right. Let's go get some cadmium then. Um, this isn't a cadmium system by chance, is it? I don't believe it is. Silver, copper, no it's not. So we're going to have to jump to a red star system. Uh, let's make sure we've got everything charged. Take to the skies! Goodbye lovely cactus world. I might, on my PC save, on yeah, because I'm starting afresh. I might go and put a base there on that, but I need to get all the glyphs set before I can do that really. Right, anyway, we've got to go get cadmium. So we're going to get that from a red star system. And that's a red star right next door, isn't it? It says data unavailable, so it's pretty much uncharted. I don't think that overly matters. Ah! Yeah, I want that one. We'll go there. Chicka boom! Oh, bloody great. Okay, so this planet that has cadmium has got aggressive sentinels on it. All right. And this planet down here has got massive horrible nasty storms and it's got activated cadmium which doesn't count funny enough so yeah that's a bit of a dud <laughs> what i should have done is when you actually select these okay when you hit it up you can see just how many planets there are you can see there's only three in that one as well so i want a few more than three okay that's got about five or six so we go there Okay, much better choice here. Now, this has also got one of those exotic creatures on. I'm not going to actually scan the exotic creature because that's not until next phase. And I want to make sure people find the tips and tricks nice and easy. But let's just fly on down and let's see if we can spot some cadmium. Now, I've got a little tip for this. When you actually see deposits in the ground, I'll fly on over. When I spot a deposit, I'll show you how you can tell whether it's cadmium from your ship if you can't tell what colour it is. Okay, you see there's this here. If you shoot it... Look, it said silver there, okay? So, yeah, if you see any deposits, just shoot at them with your photon cannons and it will tell you what type of deposit it is. Now you can just land next to the one that you want. But to be honest, I'm not seeing a great deal of deposits on this planet. Aha, look, this one is definitely red, or it looks red right now. If I shoot at it, it's gonna say cadmium. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, right, let's, uh, let's hoover this all up then. Lovely, lovely cadmium. Now, this isn't a very big deposit, you're quite right. But what I might do is just use the duplication technique that I showed you earlier and just duplicate out all the cadmium that I get because this is this is freaking pity. Put down my refiner. Go over to it. Don't even have to put fuel in. Go down and we're just going to be putting in the cadmium. There we are. We've already got 93 in that deposit. That is very woeful. Stick this on top of there. Boom, go back in the build menu, do it again. I don't think I can do it again. No, nope. there we are. And we pick it up. Lovely, now I've got 279. I'm going to do that one more time. But this time we're putting in 279, so we're going to be cadmium freaking rich at the end of this. Uh, one. And a two. Lovely. You could do that again and again and again. You get the idea. 
Right, okay, cool. Jump in the old ship. I still haven't got what I need to repair this. I've repaired one part, but the deuterium... I can't even freaking remember how to get deuterium. No freaking... No. Amazing what you forget, isn't it? There we go. Let's do that. Kaboom! And let's fly up into space, and let's just pop that. Hopefully I can make it through the rest of this expedition without fixing that, you know? It seems to be okay at the moment. All right, And let's pop that then. Boom. And pulse. Did that work? No, it didn't. Try again. Reveal memory. What's going on? There we go. Now it's come up. It was acting weird. Righto. Got a captain's brew on the go, people. My own brew of tea. Yes, I've got the captain's brew. It's freaking lovely. Let's uh, have a word with this guy then. While I drink my tea. I won't read it. If you want to pause it, you're more, more than welcome to. Now there's a good cup of tea and a decent merch mug, I guess. There's, I don't think we've got that merch mug available anymore. There's lots of other ones, though. There we go. Done. We got that. Expedition. Pop that one. Nice one. Memory of the Void. New product available. We need gold. Okay. With gold you get from shooting asteroids, people. There's, there's some asteroids. Right. Let's go shoot this asteroid. Let's just see if that gives me the gold I need. Just by sheer luck. No, that's platinum. All right, fine. What about you? You can give me some gold. Nice. Well, we've got a little bit of gold. I can always duplicate the gold that I've got. But you usually get gold from shooting asteroids, people. Again, not like we need to do it right now, anyway. Rendezvous 4. Let's go do that, then. How far away am I? Oh, not too far. There we go. And we're off. Okay, well, we've arrived at Rendezvous 4, and I can see this giant portal here. I'm going to make a guess that this is it. So let's just land here, and let's see if it is. You can see my X and Y coordinates just there, just in case. Yep, coolio. Let's just jump out of the ship, and let's see if this is the place. Is this it? It is, I guess. There's no comms balls here. I'm fairly sure there is. I'm just not seeing them. There you go. And boom, we've got that then. Multi-tool infantry slots times three. Okay, I'm not going to put them in. I'm going to decline so we can then duplicate the fudge out of them. And when I transfer over the multi-tool, I can probably send those over to myself and get my multi-tool fully upgraded in my legacy save. So where's it giving me those? Let's go and have a look, see if we can do that. Uh, we've got loads of ship ones that I'm going to transport over as well later on. Uh, where are you? There they are. I've got given four of them. I'm going to stick that in there. And I'm going to stick this one here. And I'm just going to do a little bit more duplication. You've seen me do this like three times in this one episode, people. There we go. Well, it's because I'm getting ready for transferring stuff back over. There we go. We've got 12 there. I'm going to do it again. Now we've got 36 of them. I can just drop into creative mode, though, and do it that way, can't I? But there we go. Anyways, that's all done. What's next, then? So let's go claim this. We're going to get the Atlas Flight Pack. Lovely jubbly. We'll go get that equipped. And I don't want to save on this planet. We all know what happens if you save on planets. So I'm going to fly back up to the station. We're going to get that backpack adorned. And I'm going to be saving off people. So here we go. Let's go. Let's head to the appearance modifier. Boom. And backpack. It should be the latest winged one, shouldn't it? Uh, where is it? Atlas flight pack. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's pretty darn freaking lovely. Let's see if we can just make it a little less busy. Oh, I like that. That's cool, isn't it? With the stripes. Here we go with that. Sweet. Like proper candy striped. Nice. Okay. Let's head on over here then. Jump in my ship. Out of my ship. Great to save. And we're done, people. That's that's pretty much... We've only got one more phase left to go, people. One more phase left, which is phase five. And then we've got all the optional milestones to do. 
Okay, so the falling, learned 16 words. That's just talking to guys in the actual station. But yeah, easy peasy the next one. Now hopefully that one's going to be a lot quicker than all the others. So anyway, people, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to be exiting out of here. So let's just close that. Nice one. And uh, yeah, thank you. And until next time, you guys have been freaking awesome. If you haven't already subscribed and you're liking what you see here, this is what I do on my channel. It's mainly No Man's Sky, but I also like fantasy games. I am going to be bringing Dragon's Dogma 2 to the channel in March. I've also got early access to Nightingale, which I'll be doing from the 20th of February. I've got about two or three episodes saved offline at the moment, which will be going live. So yeah, hopefully you're going to be hitting subscribe for that and my No Man's Sky content. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.